Hi there, it's Krista with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome to my kitchen and another Artistic Vegan show. Today we're making cauliflower fried rice. Instead of the rice, we're gonna use cauliflower. It's a nice option if you want something kind of low carb or if you just have some cauliflower in the fridge. So I've taken some cauliflower, chopped it in the flo into florets, and then took those, put them in my food processor, and pulsed them until they were riced. And you want about four cups of that, or about 16 ounces, as well as some tamari or soy sauce to taste, and some black pepper, and a vegan egg. I'm using a tofu base, but feel free to use a chickpea base. You can go to my blog for a recipe for that, an arrangement of spices for your egg. You'll need some nutritional yeast, Dijon mustard, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, some white pepper, you could also use black, and some salt. If you happen to have black salt, that gives it that eggy flavor. Then we've got for the for the um, cauliflower fried rice, we have an arrangement of vegetables. You'll need some garlic and ginger and onions and carrots and bell pepper, and you can go with or without a sereno or a jalapeno for a little kick. And then some toppings, you just need the top of some green onion as well as some lime juice or lime wedge. And then some chopped nuts if you please. I'm going with cashews and then some sesame seeds or you can just use some sesame oil. So that's everything that you're gonna need for this recipe. Let's go over to the stove and get going. It comes together really fast. So before you know it, you'll be eaten. I've taken the tofu out of the package. I'm just using a medium or kind of a a soft tofu it's a silken firm so it's a little bit softer than firm and that'll be great for our scrambled egg and I have it sliced into pieces and I have a little coconut oil in the pan you can also go oil free if you'd like and I'm gonna heat this up and then cook it for about three four minutes on each side and then proceed to crumble it with the spices The tofu cooked for about three to four minutes on each side and then I crumbled it, add the spices, and now it's just going on low. Meanwhile, I've got some coconut oil in the pan. You can also go oil free if you like. And then I'm sauteing an onion. And you can do this in a wok or cast iron or whatever pan you'd like. So I'm gonna add in the carrots and the peppers. I'm also gonna add the cauliflower this time. as well as the ginger. I'm gonna let that go for about four to five minutes and then add my garlic in. Let it go for another minute. Some soy sauce to taste, the vegan scrambled egg. Anything else you'd like to taste, give it a little taste test. And then we'll dish it up with a little of the toppings on top. It'll be really great. We'll have the green onions and the sesame seeds and some nuts. It'll be really fantastic. Does it smell good in here or what? And I've already snuck a little and it tastes very good too. So without further ado, let's dish some up. It's steaming hot right here. Little green onion. Then I have some sesame seeds. Then some chopped cashews. You could also use peanuts. And a little lime to garnish. And there you have it, my friends. Delicious, wonderful, wholesome food. And it's just, ugh, I gotta just take a bite. So one minute. Now, of course you can use chopsticks. I'm kind of American. I'm just gonna go easy so I can get it in my mouth. The tofu egg, the, the cauliflower rice, I mean, it tastes like a big bowl of fried rice. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. You can't go wrong with this meal. And you could totally use some brown rice here. So whatever you want. You can also use quinoa. Okay, but before I give you too many options, I'll let you go. Thank you so much for spending time with me. This has been Krista with ArtisticVegan.com. I know you're going to love it. You can get the full recipe at ArtisticVegan.com. And I can't wait to see you next week. Bye.